India's two-wheeler electric vehicle EV market has been rapidly growing with sales reaching 8.46 lakhs in financial year 23 up 158 percent from financial year 22. This growth has promoted global automaker Honda to enter the market through its local subsidiary Honda Motorcycles and Scooters India HMSI. HMSI aims to launch 10 EV models in India including two this fiscal year and targets a 15 to 20 percent market share by 2030. With the entry of Honda, competition in the segment is expected to intensify, challenging current market leaders like Ola Electric, Okinawa and Hero Electric. In this video, we will discuss the growth of India's two-wheeler EV market, the entry of Honda and the implications for the industry. According to the January 2023 Economic Survey, the overall domestic EV market is expected to surpass 10 million units in annual sales by 2030, up from 1.15 million in financial year 23, and two-wheeler EV sales could reach 22 million by 2030. As a result, there will be significant increases in manufacturing capacity, with players such as Ola already having around 20 lakh two-wheeler capacity and planning to increase this to 1 crore. TVS currently has 3 lakh capacity and plans to double it in financial year 23. Hero Electric is aiming for a 20 lakh price tag, while Honda could aim to launch with a million or more EVs. The two-wheeler EV market is very price sensitive, with EMIs accounting for 99% of purchases, while tax breaks and subsidies make EVs more affordable. ICE vehicles are less expensive ex-showroom, making it challenging for EVs to compete. However, the selling point of EVs is their lower operating and maintenance costs. Fame 2 subsidies, which lower EV prices, are set to expire in March 2024. If these are not extended, the ex-showroom prices of EVs will rise to 25% to 35%, reducing sales. Aside from price and hassle-free loans, EV users are concerned with range, easy charging and good service networks, among other things. As a result, manufacturers must establish service infrastructure and relationships with financiers. Traditional companies may have an advantage here due to the existing dealer networks, strong relationships with lenders and experience in customer-facing services. Honda is interested in swaps and plans to build a swap ecosystem as well as offer some EV models with swappable batteries. Although swap infrastructure is expensive, Honda believes it can offer customers more flexibility and convenience. In conclusion, Honda's entry into India's two-wheeler EV market will intensify competition in a segment with 15 players already. However, given its brand recognition, existing network and understanding of EV technology, HMSI could make rapid inroads and aims for a 15-20% to market share by 2030. With the market expected to grow to 10 million units in annual sales by 2030, there will be significant increases in manufacturing capacity, making it challenging to predict the long-term winners based on current market shares. Nonetheless, consumers will have more options as a global leader with deep pockets and flexible technology enters the market, and traditional players may overtake current market leaders as the market expands.